My approach to drumming for Rescue and Restore was um, not a whole lot different from any other record we've ever done. I, I try to keep the same mold when I'm writing drums for August Burns Red. I definitely push myself harder than I've ever pushed myself and uh, the hives up and down my thighs were indicative of that. I, I, got, I got so um, into writing and just the work that went into writing drums for the record that I, I, I actually got physically sick and got hives up and down my thighs. That didn't go away for a while. But, but I think the product is, uh, is worth uh, you know, the time and the energy that, that went into it. My, my mentality and focus when I'm writing drums for August Burns Red is just to write the best quality parts that complement the songs possible. And whereas in the past it used to be play as hard and fast and crazy as I can, now hopefully um, it, it sounds a little bit more appropriate, the drumming and the styles um, of drumming that I have in the song. So on Rescue and Restore, because JB had written a lot of different styles into the guitar riffs, I had to write accordingly on drums. So there's parts where instead of doing like a thrash beat through a whole riff, the riff kind of changes up and it goes into more of like a swing. And so I will play something different that I've never played before. And that's, that's fun. <laughs> it's, it's fun to do something different um, in metal drumming. I have written drums prior to going to the studio in the past, and uh, I haven't in a couple records. In other words, for the past few CDs, I've written some drum parts, and then I've gotten to the studio and written all the rest of them. On this one, I wrote everything before I got there. So I sort of set a goal and set a timeline, and I got this song done this week and the next song done this week, and by the time I got to the studio, I had almost everything written and premeditated. And it was helpful because I wasn't questioning myself all the time. <laughs>